Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. They just keep dropping all of this info. They drop like a massive, massive post and like I don't even know if there's enough time to get through it all. And so with that being said, let's just jump right into the content. So from what I remember, last time we finished off with this icy skin like... Oh my lord. Here it is. Here is the icy skin. However, we do not have enough time to appreciate the beauty of this. We need to move on. There is just so much to go. And so next we have Bonacier. As a Bonacier, a Bonacier, a Bonacier. Essentially, she is a Thunder Aurorian, I believe. Uh, if we go up a bit, I think they actually released her character card. Uh, wow. Where is it? Oh, over here. Okay, yep. So she is actually a Thunder support and she is going to be our welfare unit. I will do an evaluation on her and like the other characters as we get more information however like this is what she looks like and let's move on but about a bung it's uh bonacier and then here is pasolo who is going to be the four star feature in like our six star banners for the next six weeks i don't know if she's going to be featured on every single one of the banners but she's going to be featured on at least one of them and so she is a forest converter this is music to my ears you guys already know how i feel about converters and so let's move on wait a second what is with these like bloodied horns all right okay that's a little bit creepy let's move on okay let's go back down and let's see where we left off so i think I think lastly we have the uh Klecken skin next okay so Klecken skin over here look at that bad boy honestly i'm not a massive fan of like tentacles and all of that i feel like it's a little bit like Ugh. But yeah, there's your boy Klecken. And so next, what we have is the Fleur. Now, this is actually a really pleasant surprise because I think Fleur is just like so incredibly awesome looking. There are a lot of games that actually like forget about the husbander aspect of it. They go full in on like the waifus. And honestly, I don't have a problem with that. However, like, you know, I don't have like problems with husbandals either. And so like Fleur, he looks freaking awesome. And like, honestly speaking, he looks like a lightning character. But yeah, keep him in mind because he is actually going to be one of the two six star characters that that are appearing in this next month and so Fleur out of the way let's move on and oh my god we've got the Araya skin you guys already know what it is she is going to be the free skin from the event looking absolutely fine super super mint and I hope you guys are all looking forward to getting this one for free and so that's it for Uriah Uriah's skin and then we've actually got next this guy over here so this is a really interesting oh my god and the reason it's interesting is essentially like you've got an envelope and you've actually got like a date on it I think uh what's the code let me have a look and so I won't spoil the event for you but there is essentially like a code that you can put in however i believe it is only activated when the event starts so that's about like 19th of august i think and so go off and look for the code hopefully you guys will get that gift and hopefully it is something pretty spicy but like with that being said let's move on so next we've got mm, barrel so sweet i actually originally thought that barrel was like icy sister right and i'm a massive icy sim and so therefore i'm a massive barrel simp as well great design absolutely nice and i'm like a really big fan of like the blood crystal kind of thing i really doubt that she is going to be a converter but like you know what like freaking surprise me to a dog and so with that being said let's move on from barrel mm, honestly look at that all right so next we've got this guy over here which is essentially oh man i'm pretty sure that's barrel and like this is like your teaser when you actually play through the when you get like 60 activity every day in the game but yeah oh my god like tell me that you're not simping for that like tell me that you will not simp for that on the other hand i think that this one up here is actually smoky and so she will probably be coming in like the second part of the event and something i did want to mention about this photo if you guys didn't notice it's like this weird thing down here it's like an eye and a mouth it's actually really creepy Creepy. And like speaking of creepy, if you guys have not checked out the PV, uh, where is the PV? So the PV is this guy up here. This PV is actually really, really freaking good. And I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get my ass DMCA'd. But if you guys have not seen this, I do encourage you to watch it because it's it's really unexpected. All I can really say is that like whilst I thought we were going to be fighting like crabs or like lobsters or fish or whales, like we're not doing any of that. All right. So moving on next, we've got, uh, we've got Fleur up there. However, this bad boy. Oh my. My god this is crazy we are getting showered guys there is no other way to put it we are absolutely getting showered i would go as far as to call it a golden shower because it is you know a lot of value but that's kind of sus you know but essentially we are getting 1500 plus 3000 loom members just from this one post alone so that's i think it was like equal to 15 pulls and with over 10 million downloads that's really really good it's a really great sign that this game is actually thriving and i'm just really glad for this like massive global release because it means that we're attached to the hip to the japan and the KR servers and all of that. And so yeah, showered with love, absolutely. However, before I keep moving, I do want to say that these will be distributed in a few days time. So if you do not see it in your mail, like do not fret, just take note of these dates and like you'll be good, okay? And next we've got Fleur. So actually, huh? What the 
brick? He's a water. Why is he a water? He looks like a thunder. Okay, that is so freaking weird. But okay, like a sniper, a sniper I could definitely see, but water? I did not see water coming. I mean, like what is with all of the electricity in the background then? Like with all of that stuff, that's so freaking... Whoa, what is this? Hold up. Deals 145% damage to the nearest two enemies and 50% splash damage to four tiles in a cross shape around. Wait, this is actually like really interesting because it's kind of like a pseudo sniper AOE. It's got a little bit of sniper and a little bit of AOE. I think this is like pretty much a new archetype. But yeah, until the information about the equipment comes out, it's going to be a little bit hard to actually evaluate Fleur. But yeah, exciting because they're actually implementing kind of like newer mechanics. And so that being said, let's jump over to what have we got next? We've got the technical issues. So if you guys are having the issues where you can't log in with your Twitter accounts, I think that has been resolved. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure we're all caught up except for like all of the freaking event info itself, which is a crap load. And so guys, what I want to actually go through first is this one over here, which is really interesting. So, mm mint so freaking mint and so what this is is it's the special event book so essentially in a nutshell it's a battle pass and so through this battle pass we are actually going to be able to get the uriah skin for free however if you do get the paid version of the battle pass we will be getting vice and then there's kind of like a third tier a more rich version a more like vip version in which you can get like the avatar frame and on top of all of that we also get stuff like these limited furniture so you've got the shave ice cut and all of that like kind of the summer theme stuff as well as everything else you would expect such as like the loom amber, the star flares, the gifts and like upgrade materials. And so let's talk a little bit more about this battle pass. So essentially, like I said, there is a free and paid version. There really are like two paid versions. And so with the standard version, essentially we're gonna be getting a whole bunch of stuff as well as the four star Aurorian Uriah's outfit. I suspect the outfit is probably either gonna be at level 30 or level 60. And why I say that is because like this actually goes up to level 60, this book, right? And so moving on with the elite edition, we will be able to get a whole bunch of exclusive elite edition rewards so i'm like suspecting it's the paid stuff so essentially this text is exactly how a battle pass is the more you do the uh special event book the more rewards you'll get but essentially it's a couple of the nicer rewards like five star aurora and vice's outfit we've got the special star flares as opposed to the normal star flares and then a whole bunch of like other upgrade materials loom amber you already know what it is and then moving on what we have is the last tier which is the deluxe edition so this is like what i was saying like your vip one and so with this guy what you get is the exclusive deluxe edition summer fuels avatar frame as you saw at the very start so it's this boy over here it actually looks really really nice and then moving back over here we also get the shave ice cut furniture and we also get 15 levels on the special event book so this is very very standard practice and so on the right hand side over here you can actually see that this is a preview of the uh, battle pass itself so yeah it's looking like about like a three times conversion from the standard or like the non-paid up to the paid one what is interesting is that they do not actually like specify the price of these battle passes and so what i'm low-key hoping for is that we can actually purchase this battle pass with like loom amber and before anyone jumps on me for that like this is not unheard of like especially epic 7 you can definitely purchase the battle pass with like your um in-game premium currency like your in-game free premium currency that you can grind out so for us it'd be loom amber i personally hope that we can use loom amber for that but like i probably would say that this is gonna cost like either real money probably like between eight to fifteen dollars or it's gonna cost the equivalent like eight to fifteen dollars in terms of like the lumo crystals but yeah otherwise that's all the information that we do have for the battle pass itself and uh again if you guys want to see more i will drop it in the description below and so with that being said i'm going to move over to this guy over here oh my god we have so many tabs to go through um maybe i'll go through this one okay and so essentially this is your summer events end game kind of thing so this is like actually really really similar to the even sensor event as i predicted <laughs> however there are a couple of differences so when challenging summer cruising stages navigators will need to consume action points instead of prism and so this is really interesting because essentially what it's saying is that we don't need to like put our prism or our stamina into like the event stage itself or this part anyway and so what is cool about this is that we are actually getting trial stages so this is really really similar to genshin when you can actually like pick a character and trial them out i personally think that this is a great feature because like well for me in genshin like a lot of times i was like i want that character and then i actually went and played them and then i was like well i actually don't want this character anymore for me personally when i had the chance to play like sinsa and eve like i had the same kind of feeling i was like wow yeah i do want eve and then i actually played her and i was like yeah actually i don't really want her that much but yeah moving on so we've got the event rewards and we're gonna get 3050 loom members and two special star flares wow that's um 
That's really freaking generous. And so for the event itself, it is going to start from the 19th of August for this one and 24th of August, and it's all gonna end at the same time. So very, very similar to the previous event. And moving on, we have Brain Freeze. Ooh, actually, this is what I wanted to know because I couldn't figure out what the heck this was. Navigators can try their hand at running a shaved ice store of ice. Make some delicious shaved ice within the time limit and sell it to your Aurorian customers. Yo, hold up. Is this kind of like, you know, one of those games? Uh, what is it called? The um Overcooked. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Overcooked. So this is like really reminiscent of that well like reading this description it kind of makes me feel like that's what it is your final rating will depend on how quickly you complete single orders and like your number of orders in the challenge so yeah i, I actually think it's going to be like overcooked however what is interesting about this is that it is only going to last for like a little bit over a week so 31st of august until 8th of september so just be mindful of that because if you guys do miss it it's going to be really sad you get up to 600 lumamba and aurorian development materials so it's not that big of a loss but like every bit of lumamba counts all right moving on limited time event exchange store so this is essentially the same kind of stuff so we've got like the five star aurorian bonissier and her soul amber with the um limited furniture we've got the legendary aurorian breakthrough it's the same same i think it's going to be a very very similar to like the last shot or any voucher obtained so this is kind of like yeah this is like your event currency and then so if we do have excess it actually does get converted to 15 19 so that's really nice so i don't know if, like how much you guys got but like from the hero event from the sakura blossoms i actually got like 1.1 mil which was a significant amount although i burned through it within like 10 minutes though i must say that this is pretty standard practice it's kind of expected but it's still nice you know and so moving on we've got five star aurorian bonus here yeah, i think that's just saying that we can redeem her like during the event all right so we've got a new limited login event bonus so oh this one is pretty spicy and it's really spicy because we actually get the four star aurorian for free pasolo and so just a quick reminder even though it was like five minutes ago pasolo is right here this is what she looks like however on top of that what we are getting is a whole bunch of lumamba as well as the printing vouchers this is really nice this is really really nice Ooh, as well as an exclusive event avatar i'm a sucker for these things i freaking love them all right so next we have the new limited time recruitment so it's going to be barrel flow and pasolo okay this is interesting so what it looks like is that both the barrel banner as well as the flow banner are actually going to be running concurrently and not one after the other this is really interesting because like therefore my prediction was wrong right i thought that it was going to be barrel for two weeks and then it's going to be like flow for two weeks and it's going to be pas no not pasolo it's going to be smoky for the like the last two weeks but that's okay i think this is good because it actually gives people a lot of time to actually like farm up the loom amber and like actually be able to roll on them both honestly they gave us a choice and you know i really welcome that choice and so as always barrel and flow will enter the mainstay recruitment after the version update on the 9th of september so that's really good and then on top of that we've got four star aurorian pasola entering the mainstay recruitment pool which is also expected so next we've got hero and taki going into the mainstay banner and so that's like pretty expected and next we've got exclusive furniture oh my gosh we have a, a gundam looking thing over here i mean like well everything is looking like a gundam these days okay and so we have the mark five or the mkv model so we can be redeeming this one via the pretty vouchers so this one just sounds like it's from the store and then we have a hotel surfboard which is also from the store next we've got this painting which is from one of the ex stages so if you guys do remember back to the eve and since that event we did do ex stages for some of those like nice rewards however again a quick reminder that these stages were unlocked like i think like five days after the initial stages were and then we've got the cool jet inflatable sofa so that's this boy over here which is with our special event book which is the battle pass and so speaking of the battle pass this is where they're starting to talk about it again so it's pretty much the same thing as we talked about except over here we're talking about all of the different outfits okay so here is where a lot of people i think is going to be getting disappointed first we've got the free outfit for uriah and then we've got the paid outfit in like the battle pass for vice however on top of that what we have is the klecken Kalin, and icy outfits which are going to be featured in the store and these outfits as far as we can tell can only be purchased by the lumo crystals again lumo crystals is the paid currency so like you know for like ten dollars you get like 30 luma crystals or something like that i'm not 100 percent across the conversion rates but again like i do know that some people are going to be disappointed about this because there's almost kind of like an expectation especially from like the arknights point of view where like you could actually farm not really farm but like save up the originite prime that you got and for you non-arknights players like the originite prime is essentially like your luma crystal so we actually are given a lot in ak like a lot of the paid currency and using that paid currency we can actually buy a fair bit of skins however it looks like that as did not follow that line
line of inspiration. As for me personally, if you do want my opinion, I think that this is a decent way of monetization. They have thrown so many pulls at us. I'm pretty sure I'm up like 450 pulls in these like last two months. And honestly, if they keep this up, then like, you know, I'm really happy for them to like monetize the skins like that. I just really hope that they're not like really crazy expensive, maybe like eight to 15 USD, something like that. But no matter what, I'm relatively sure I'm going to be going for the icy skin at least and probably get that Carlene one too. Only if I can afford it, maybe I'll skip lunch for like two years or something. Anyway, moving on. And so next we've got the surplus soul ember dismantling function. So I do know that this has been a very heavily requested feature. And so essentially what happens is that if your Aurorian reaches a max breakthrough, so for example, you got Uriah, you got her like 14 times and you only really need like what, like four or five to max breakthrough her, then you've actually got a massive stash of soul ember in which they can now be converted into stellar gems as well as star gems, depending on like the stars of the Aurorian soul amber. Now, what is interesting is that these six star Aurorian ones are going to be converted into stellar gems. And I'm not sure if there are actually any stellar gems in the game. Me personally, I do feel like the stellar gems are just going to be like your SS star gems. So uh, actually, let me get the game up real quick. I reckon that these ones are going to be your stellar gems. So the ones that are right now known as the SS star gems, because these are like way more rare to come across. And then on the other hand, we have the normal star gems, which is these ones, the blue ones over here, which you can buy pools with. But yeah, that's my take on it because there is no stellar gems right now. And so like, it's, it's really logical, I think that these are going to be it. And so back to it over here, I think that one is covered off. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, this is actually really cool because essentially what we're getting is three five-star selectors, kind of. They're kind of like limited selectors in which like you can actually pick one of the five Aurorians from a same archetype. So what I mean by that is that we've got Korax, Leona, Mia, and Araya for this one. So these are kind of like your snipers for every one of the different elements. And to get this selector, all you have to do is actually finish like the main story chapter three. And so that's really nice. And then so like moving on, we've got chapter five, chapter seven, in which you get this is the cross shape converters. Barton, Maggie, Nemesis, Sakara. I think this is a great addition. However, like if you guys know me, I would say, where is my Klecken, man? I personally really think that they should have given out a selector for like the five star converters, like the pure converters. Don't get me wrong, guys. I think this is a fantastic idea, but like really to really smooth out the experience, I think getting to actually pick a five star converter for one of the elements like of the four um the four tile pure conversion like I think that is the move. But anyway, moving on to the last one, we are getting Hydrad, Isvan, Vivian, or Louis. So this is your two times multiplier or like your two times chain combo uh, units. These are fantastic ones. I think all of them are fantastic ones. I think honestly, like this whole thing is fantastic. This is a great way to like kind of ease people into the game, especially like to actually introduce them to the, like the different archetypes. And so with that being said, moving on, we've got, oh, we've got optimizations. This is interesting. We've adjusted the difficulty of main story 814, really where a lot of people are, I guess are even and I was struggling against it as well. It was actually quite a steep difficulty jump from like the 813 up to 814. Like I actually spent quite a fair bit trying to beat it. And so next we've got them removing the restriction that prevented you from getting more than one star when completing this with support Aurorians. Now this is great. That's actually really, really freaking good. So this means that I can actually just cheese my way through the entire freaking game where I can use like support Aurorians. Nah, honestly, like when you hit end game, you can kind of like do everything. You can like three star everything. So I don't really need to, but like this is actually really nice. I personally think that there was not really any reason to kind of like gate people or like like I guess discourage people from using support Aurorians and so this is a very very welcome change I do know that a lot of people were like asking for something like this and then lastly with the optimizations we've got auto battle and continuous auto battle will now be unlocked immediately oh wait oh no after you successfully clear each respective stage wait I thought this was how it worked before unless it means like you know as we get onto it as we unlock it we will get the auto battle and continuous auto battle functions Honestly, I'm a little bit confused as to what this one means, but like I feel like what they're trying to say is that upon actually like getting to a stage, you can auto battle it immediately. Yeah, well, if you guys can interpret that a little bit better than me, then let me know. However, with that being said, let's move on. Oh my God, guys, there is so much content. All right, so we've got the limited time summer event gift packs. So what is this one? And so what we've got is a whole bunch of gift packs, limited time summer event gift packs. So the first one, we've got a free gift pack. Mm, nice. And so what we're going to get is Nitium 30. So we get 30K Nitium and then we get 20 of these general Jasper ones, which it's okay. You know, if it's free, I'll freaking take it, you know? And so moving on, what we've got is, oh my God, it's these bad boys again. 
These guys always, always, always induce me to spend. So for me, it's $1.50 for like 120 Lumamba, one star flare, a special star flare at that, and 120 prism. And so on top of that, what we can do is actually buy it five times over five days. So you can buy it 25 times. Oh no, man. I think they're actually going to make me break out my wallet. And I don't know how I feel about that, man. And so moving on, we've got the summer recruitment pack, which is 3K Lumamba. So this is probably going to be like your $16 pack. Well, for me, it's like $16. And then after that, we've got another one in which you get 20 rolls, kind of. Uh, and this one is going to be probably like, well, for me anyway, for like 26 bucks. And then after that, what we've got is the summer ascension kits for green and blue. And so this is probably just like really similar to like your hero one. But yeah, a couple of nice packs. I'm very happy to see this, but I'm also not happy at the same time because I, I kind of don't want to do it, but I do want to do it. I don't want to do it because like I'm already starting to spend a little bit too much on alchemy stars. And it's not even actually like that much, right? Like I'm a really low spender. I am like a pretty low spender. However, this is so enticing. If you were to get anything, I would say you should get this. Anyway, with that being said, let's move on. So this we talked about, I think from the Twitter post, essentially they're going to be giving us freaking 4,500 Lumamba. Nothing much more to be said about that one. And so we've got the, oh yeah, Vice's vacation gift. So essentially, I think this is just like, she's going to be sending us stuff like every day. And honestly, it feels nice, right? It's nice to actually have something in like your inbox every day. It just kind of feels like the game is kind of like checking in on you but yeah wow that was um that was a lot and so let me have a quick look at this and see if there is like anything that was in here that mm, that i possibly missed so i don't think so i think everything that i talked about is actually covered yeah got, we've got the login event over here all right oh my god i am losing my voice like crazy but like we actually got through all of that <sighs> wow there's a there's a lot going on guys there's a lot going on. And so as always, if you guys do want to like kind of see this or read this in your own time, I will be dropping everything in the description below. But otherwise, like this is a fantastic event. I freaking love Summer. I freaking love Beryl. Oh my God. I love IC. I love Colleen. Oh my God. I love everybody. Okay. I love everybody. But as for me personally, I am super, super hyped for the event. I am super pumped and I cannot wait for it to come. Well, it's uh, two days, it's about two days left. And so I think we have covered like every single update, every single aspect that was kind of like new, like ever since I last talked about this. And so if I did miss anything, do let me know down in the comments below. But otherwise, I think it's time to wrap this bad boy up. All right, guys, I've got a secret question. And what I really want to know is like kind of like your preferences in terms of like the character designs. Do you guys like Fleur or do you guys like Beryl more or do you guys like Pasolo or do you guys like Bonacier? So uh, let me have a look at Beryl. So this one is Beryl. And so out of the four, Beryl, Fleur, Pasolo and Bonacier or Bonacci, which character do you like the most? And like, obviously for me, it's Beryl. I'm a freaking simp, my dudes. But yeah, you guys let me know who your favorite character designs are. And if you could help it, please drop it into the comments below because like that really means a lot to me. Because if you do drop that comment for me, it means that you've actually watched up until the end of the video. And I'm really grateful. So thank you guys so much. But otherwise, you guys already know what it is. Please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what to do. If you guys would like to support the channel, we have some affiliate links in the description as well as a membership program thing. But as Uriah once said, like, oh, oh, mama, all good things must come to an end. Oh, God, please, summer, do not end. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.